What's up, what's up, what's up, honey? It's your girl, Miss J. She's back <gasps> with another video, honey. Another video. Another video. And y'all ain't know exactly what day this is. This is <gasps> Wine Down Friday. Wine Down Friday. It's Friday. I have my favorite color on y'all. And that red popping with us, so I decided to do me some black, red, and white, honey. Mm -mm, mm -mm. She's happy. She is. She's so excited. Uh oh, bra strap on the show. Can't have that happen. Clean her up. <laughs> oh my God, guys! Thank y'all so much for putting up with Miss G and her shenanigans. I'm so excited because. This is the Friday before Thanksgiving. Where does hair want to be? This is the Friday before Thanksgiving. One of my favorite times of the year. I thank God for this day. I thank God for uh, this uh, almost the end of the year. We only have one more month to go. One more month and that's it. And we have made it through another year. Thank God for Jesus for that. Thank God for Thanksgiving. Thank God. Thank him, thank him, thank him. For you guys spending some time with me. I have me a cab today. I have some flowers for you beautiful people today. I have me some agua. I sure do. And I'm just chilling, getting ready for the big week. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are probably preparing some food, getting ready for family, getting ready to travel. Oh my God, y'all have to tell me what y'all doing. Are you cooking at your house? Are you going to someone else's house? You know, I can remember as um, a kid growing up, all Thanksgivings were huge. They were huge. It was my mom, uh, family, uh, my pa my grandparents had nine kids. Um, they were married. And uh, a lot of my um, uncles, uh, family would also come to our Thanksgiving. Uh, so we started off at my Aunt Bessie's house. Yeah, in uh, Linden. We would go there for Thanksgiving dinner. And uh, my uncle, oh my God, her husband, uh, Luther. Well, they my godparents too. So I probably, you know, a little biased when I be talking about how much I love them and how sweet they are. But I promise you they were. <laughs> I'm serious. I promise you. If you would have known them, you would have loved them. Genuine, sweet, sweet people. And he used to talk so highly of us uh, all the time. They have two kids, um, um, a girl and a boy. And uh, we would go to their house. That's where it started off at. My family uh, from uh, South Carolina would always come up. My grandma. I know I told y'all in another video uh, how mama would go to uh, everybody's house uh, when she was up visiting. And uh, that lady could cook. God. I mean, she could make something out of nothing. She could make water taste good. <laughs> I'm serious. I'll tell you what the Lord love. She make water taste good. That's how she can flavor something up. Yes. And so she would go around and make her rounds. And I used to love when it was her time to stay at our house. I remember one time it was the cock. Is that what it's called when it's the skeleton part of the turkey? <laughs> and she made some gravy. Oh, God, I can remember that. And I was so young then. That's how good she could make something out of nothing. Then it got so big that we uh, started having it at the church. And it would be so many of us. And it was so nice that you get together with all your family and just have a great, great time. And then naturally, you know, life happens. Uh, everybody grow up, uh, people pass away, and things change. And then we tried to do it again. Uh, we would go down to uh, South Carolina, my aunt, um, Aura. Everybody call her Mama Deed. <laughs> She's sweet. She take right after her mama. Sweet, 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 sweet spirit. Uh, sweet soul. Sweet person. Now, she don't take no mess now. <laughs> don't run up on her. <laughs> I'm telling you, she's sweet, but don't run up on her because you'll really get to see you can't run up on her. We all got that in us. <laughs> we sweet, but you can't run up on us. So don't run up on my aunt. <laughs> but, oh, Miss Jody said you sweet. And then you're going to push her. 
You might not be drawing nothing back. <laughs> but she is sweet. I'm telling you what the Lord loves now. She's sweet. But she don't play. And like I said, that's all of us. And so uh, she would try uh, uh, to do it um, at uh, their church uh, down there. My parents went to the same church and my sister Carol used to go to that church. So we even tried that for a couple of years. But you know, life began get caught up in it. I wanna say the last time I've been with my mom family was 2011. Yep, 2011. Uh, we uh, tried to uh, try to do it again to start it up again and um, we had rented a house in Myrtle Beach it was a huge house and everybody showed up that's another thing about them they'll show up though they will I promise you. you you're doing something they will support 110 they'll give you all of themselves uh, that they can and they'll show up so that was the last time we had all been together but just before the pandemic we was going to try to do it again uh my sister belly was going to rent a house up in tennessee this time here um and we all was going to go up to tennessee because i had did the one um in uh, myrtle beach that time and so she the one she was renting in tennessee was huge huge it almost like a hotel when we first found the piece of property i thought it was a hotel I cannot believe it was a house. That's how huge it was. And it had three kitchens in it. Three kitchens on all three floors. It had really big, great rooms on all three floors. It had, I want to say 11, maybe 15 bedrooms. But it was really nice. The view overlooking the mountains and everything. But it didn't pan out because uh, COVID-19 hit. But I'm pretty sure after we can clear up all this COVID with all these new strains and get our country back to the way it, it should be, we'll be able to get back on track and, and do it. Because we had so much loss. Uh, Thanksgiving uh, is a, a great time of the year to get together. Um, and everybody was going to, uh, I think, be doing a week up there with us this time, too. Because, like I said, we go, uh, we do a week at a time when we go any place or get together. Because it's just nice to be on vacation with one another and share that time. And then my oldest sister, Carol, y'all know I talk about her a lot with her barbecue sauce. It's always her birthday time. <laughs> so it always gives us a reason to get together and celebrate, too. Because she's my parents' oldest child. And we want to respect and honor her as much as we can and so for that reason is another good reason to get together for thanksgiving it's not the only reason we get together like i said because everybody's busy and my mother and father only had six kids and for us to keep that connection so that we can stay close and so our kids can stay close it's a great thing it's a must <laughs> ain't no other way to put it it's a must um someone have to always take the initiative to make sure that a family stay together it's very important family is um something you can't choose but it's something that you can make the best of because especially when you have a good family like me i really have a good siblings i can't complain i mean i probably could but i won't <laughs> i'm lying <laughs> they're gonna see that and they're gonna be like what you talking about <laughs> I can't complain. My sisters are very, very good, I have to say. <sighs> yeah, mm -hmm. my sisters are good. But, you know, I got two brothers. You know, one is uh, deceased uh, now um, due to this pandemic that we can't seem to get underneath control. But, you know, life is what it is. We have to take it one day at a time. Um, and that's what we're doing. We're taking it one day at a time. Uh, January, February, one year for uh, him, one year. So, you know, it's going to be rough because you're going through one whole year without a sibling. Matter if it was good or bad, is still a loss. And so we have a lot uh, that we have to be thankful for for now. We have to be thankful for the ones that's living, the ones that we can still talk to and get together with, um, check up on. You know, so everybody got to start checking up a little bit more on their loved ones to make sure that they're at a good space with all the things that's going on in life. Because there's a lot of stuff that's going on in everybody's life. You know, our kids are growing up. My son is going to be 20 in two months. Can we all cry? <laughs> can we all pray for me? <laughs> He's always going to be my baby. I know he just doesn't see it that way, but he always gonna be my baby. He is. Now 
now I can get to um, really uh, realize what my sister Lori used to always tell me. I think I told one time before how um, uh, I didn't have kids and Lori had uh, three boys and she would make different meals. And I'd be thinking like, who gonna cook different meals for their kids all the time? <sighs> if I cook, they gonna eat what I cook. Yeah. You have your own kids. You're so thankful for them. What you want, honey? <laughs> you say you want me to make you what? Okay, I'll go do it right now, honey. Jay. You ain't got to worry. Your mama going to do that for you. Mm -hmm. And she do. I'm thankful for them, though. Thank God for Jesus. He gave them to me because he didn't have to, but he did. He gave me two sons, two good sons. He gave me a great godson. He gave me some really, really good nephews, fabulous nieces, first cousins, aunties. One uncle we had, oh, son, he was good. He was good to his core. Oh, he had that nice salt and pepper hair. He was such a handsome man, he was such a handsome man. He used to come to our house mostly every day, every day. We lived in Elizabeth and he lived in Jersey City. He worked with my dad for a long time. Son was just good. He had six uh, boys. He had six boys. And they carry on our uh, last name, the Morris last name, because, you know, I'm a Morris, honey. Even though I was born a white, honey, child. She got that Morris in her, honey. <laughs> you know that part I tell you about my aunt, Mama D? Mm -hmm. That part in me too, honey, child. It's in all of us. Every last one of us. Okay, probably never was in Mama, though. I'm telling you. I ain't never seen Mama step out from being Mama. Just being sweet. Nice. She was short, too. Mama was not no big old lady. She was a little old thing. Sweet as she can be. Taking care of all these kids. All her grandkids. All her kids' kids. Then her grandkids. Cooking for us. Providing a roof over our head every summer. Making us three meals and supper. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what bit video I had talked about mama in, but can I tell you, I should have did this whole video here about mama, about Thanksgiving should have been all about mama. She was good. But y'all know exactly what time it is. It's time for this chick to go, honey. It's time for me to pack my stuff because I'm going on vacation. <laughs> so I'm about to turn the lights on in here, boo. Deuces. Peace. Thank you and happy Thanksgiving to you and many, many more to come. Enjoy y'all weekend.